tired of those AI videos that only generate four second and even then square ones? Forget Sora 2 and VO3. Because right now, you can create cinematic quality videos with Grok. In this video, I'll reveal a secret workflow. How to force Grok to generate 16.9 high YouTube golden ratio videos and how to infinitely connect them to create hot long videos, freeing you from the hassle of switching between four or five tools. To stay ahead in the AI race, you must watch this tutorial. Let's get started. Our workflow begins with ChatGPT. We need a concise, powerful Disney style short story. My prompt was, help me come up with a fairy tale, Disney style, about a magical kitten. The initial draft it gave me was too complex, telling a story about a vast kingdom. This wasn't what I wanted, so I simplified my requirements. I just need a simple scene focusing on a cabin in the forest. Now we have a perfect script. Remember this method also applies to generating longer stories. Next we have ChatGPT generate image cues for on each scene out in the story. The key instruction here is make sure each cue is logically connected plus sawing to the previous one. Here's a pitfall you must be aware of. When you ask ChatGPT for cues, it might automatically start generating images. This process can get you stuck, waste a lot of time, and you can't do anything until it's finished. After asking again, I got the perfect cues. The benefit of this continuity is that it explicitly tells me what changes should occur in the second image based on the first. This is exactly what we need for our narrative. Copy your first cue and head to Grok. But before starting generation, perform this crucial point saving step. Click on your profile, go to settings, talk behaviors, find and turn off enable automatic video generation. Why? Grok by default starts rendering video immediately when you paste an image, which consumes your points. This setting ensures you are in control, protecting your points from being wasted. Now go to the Imagine tab, paste your keyword and run it. You'll notice the default image is TikTok size, but our goal is YouTube. The solution is here. Click on the image and find Aspect Ratio. Choose a Yatra 3.20. Clock to aspect ratio. Don't worry, we'll perfectly convert it to 16.9 during editing. Make sure you select image mode here. Okay, carefully check your keyword. My keyword describes a silver kitten with moonlight like fur, wearing a glowing collar, walking through a misty forest filled with fireflies. This means I must choose the image that it outgrows walking in the forest, not another image that might be has just sitting still. Your first scene is the foundation. It must be chosen correctly. After selecting the image, paste the exact same keyword, but this time we'll run video generation. If you want Grok's generation speed to take off, I recommend doing this when server load is low, such as in the early morning. The first attempt at the video was good, but we can do better. The beauty of Grok is that each generation is unique. The beginning of the video determines whether the audience stays or leaves. Never settle for okay. I usually iterate two to three times until I get a shot like this. Perfect. It really looks like it's being painted with light. This is the core technique for achieving long videos. First, drag the playhead to the cat. Last frame of one times of your video, right click and select copy video frame. Go back to the keyword area and paste this frame. Grok will now use this aid uh, still frame Okari as the starting point for the new video. Now go to chat GPT and copy your Adi second sky to you seen keyword, then paste it after the I still frame. Run the generation. See? The second video seamlessly begins at the end of the first. Download the video, then repeat this loop. Copy the last frame of the second video, paste it, and add the third keyword. I'll quickly complete all five scenes. The video footage is ready. 
we return to ChatGPT, copy the complete story script, and head to Google AI Studio to generate the narration. Here, select Text-to-Speech with Gemini, then select Single Speaker Audio. Choose a soft, friendly, and calm voice, as this quality helps maintain the audience's focus for longer. Generate and download it. I use CapCut for editing. First, import your narration. Here's a pacing tip. I remove partial silent sections from the narration. Because we want a slow-paced narrative feel, it's important to leave some breathing room. Lock the audio track, then import all the video clips we generated, arranged in narration order. Now perform the most important step. Click on the aspect ratio in the bottom right corner and change it from original to 16.9. You'll see that the 3.2 video generated by Grok has black bars at the top and bottom. You need to zoom in on each clip to perfectly fill the 16.9 YouTube canvas. When you play it, you'll encounter a problem. Because we're copying the last frame, the Andy count of the first video and the in the beginning aux of the second video are identical. You know. This causes a visually noticeable stutter or freeze during playback. The fix is very simple. At the end of the first video, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move one frame half backward, then press the C key or use the cut tool to trim this extra last frame. Do this for all the transition points. Now the transitions between shots are silky smooth. You can add some subtle transitions between clips. To add a cinematic feel, I added two filters with the intensity set to around 10. Before generating subtitles, here's an important tip. Select all the edited narration clips and right-click to create a compound clip. This ensures the subtitle generator recognizes them as a single, complete audio track. You'll also find that the ambient sound in the Grok-generated video is very loud, even drowning out the narration. Select all the video clips and lower their volumes uniformly. Now use CapCut's automatic subtitle feature. I only selected a standard template and reduced the font size. Everything is ready. Export your final video. In the quiet heart of the forest, a little silver kitten named Luna followed the fireflies to an old mossy cabin. Inside, she found a single glowing feather on a dusty table. When her paw touched it, golden light filled the room, and blue flowers bloomed from moonlight. The forgotten cabin shimmered once more, and Luna's gentle light brought magic back to the woods. If you feel the video quality is still a bit blurry after exporting, you can use any free online video enlargement tool to improve the clarity. Now it's your turn. If you encounter any problems during the creation process, or have better techniques, be sure to tell me in the comments section and we can discuss them together. Click subscribe so you won't miss anything. Keep creating, see you in the next video.